I'm gonna leave you. Bro, if you move again, I'm actually- What the freak is going on? Hey, I'm just gonna back up my- So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome to a brand new horror game called Devotion. So this I think is a Taiwanese horror game and based on that fact alone I could end the intro there and you already know that this is going to be a scary as heck. However to back that fact up even further, over on Steam this is a horror game that has an overwhelmingly positive review rating and that is so rare with horror games in 2019. Now I also know that this game is made by the same company who made a horror game called Detention and whilst I didn't get to experience that some of you guys may actually know what that is. And really other than that I don't want to say too much more, I just want to experience this thing because based on the reviews and stuff like that, it actually has me excited to check this thing out for you guys. Also, you see Slenderman in the picture back there? Yeah, this is about to be real bad. Alright. So I guess we're on the other side of where the menu was? Mama cutting some kind of meat back there, hopefully for supper. And that's about all I can tell what's going on here. Some draft coming through, I guess, from the fan above. Alright. Okay, here we go. I guess we are. We're gonna respond. Okay. Interesting. Potentially. Hmm. So I guess they're concerned about what's going on outside and they want to protect their daughter quite a bit. I mean, it can have some bad sides to it, definitely. Oh. Dang, sure, right? Okay, I didn't do nothing. Like, calm down, hold up. I guess. I want to see it. Okay. Okay. Maybe so, maybe so. Uh, why my head shaking like that, though? My eyes got them twitching action. Uh, calm down. Everything's okay. Apart from my eyes, clearly. What? Dude, what is going on? Oh. Um. Okay, I can barely turn my head right now. Oh, gosh. Everything seems kind of normal, right? Unless things were abnormal before we started and I didn't realize. I don't like the fact you're shouting in the. The freak. One more dish and we can eat. Maybe I'm just hungry, right? What is happening? What? Welcome to Devotion, a game that I have no idea what's going on in. Okay, and we wake up. Same spot. Okay. Can't lift our head up. Yeah, we must have blacked out or something. Fingers twitching like no tomorrow, like a fish out of water. Come on, hold it together, man. Let's go. Okay, he's getting up. Dang, we must have blacked out something fierce, right? And we can move. So the first thing we see is literally a picture right there. Mei-Shin's Doodles, a drawing done by Mei-Shin. Okay, nice. Li Fang's photo, Li Fang's solo photo. Her Ki Pao dress helped establish her iconic image. Okay, interesting. And that's all we get to go on for. All right, let's go ahead and see what this crap's all about then, okay? Any demons around here? TV fuzzing? Yeah, you can go off. Uh, actually, no, stay back on. Uh, okay, guess we don't want to put it back on. Let's go and see what was uh, The freak is going on. Look, I said turn up. Hold up. The red arowana, a pet fish considered to bring luck and prosperity. Don't fish have to, like, move to gain oxygen and crap? I don't know how that dude's living. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, we're in the kitchen right now. Awfully dark. And I guess we're a house with no light switches, so fair enough. Okay, no, seriously, what is going on? I can't see a thing. No idea how the wife knew what she was making for dinner. Like, she may have been chopping her fingers off or something. Okay, let's not jump to conclusions right now. Let's keep moving through. I guess the only way we can go is out of our small apartment complex, though. But why? Don't see anything particularly wrong. It's very, very silent. So I guess we're leaving, right? What the freak? Uh, so that was our apartment. We got like a. Okay, wait. What the freak? Yeah, I'm confused. Height chart that came with powdered milk we brought. It records Mason's growth. So you can kind of see. Yeah, she's grown a fair bit. Okay. Is this the same apartment or slightly different? Because I don't think I saw this way. Last time? Maybe I was too naive to actually check, which if so, god dang it. Anyway, we're gonna keep moving through. Red Aurana's still there doing good. Let's check through here, though. So dark as freak. I can't see nothing. Okay. Family portrait of Mei Shin, Li Fang, and I. So wait, that's us there? Because I really don't think we're actually that tall. So if we're that tall, okay, yeah, when we stand up, we're barely taller than the TV. Uh, people like this tall in this place, like what gives? Anyway, moving on. Let's keep going this way. This must be a new corridor. Nothing really we can do. It's locked. Hey, I want to come through there. Hold up, let me open up. Here we go. Can we push it? We can. Okay. 
Hmm. What is this trying to suggest? I have to walk slowly towards it, so I can assume my character's probably confused as I would be, to be honest. That kind of makes sense to me, you know? Floating umbrella, not everything you see every day. What the freak is going on? Hey, are we good? Like, I don't want any problems, lady. I'm just gonna back up my- <laughs> ah! Okay, moving on. Pff, game's not scary, guys. <laughs> Look, I want out of this nightmare already. Why is it gonna be locked? So, Year of the Monkey, 1980? Is that potentially the year we're in? Perhaps? I have no idea. Take the key, the house key. Perfect. 1980, it says on it as well. So, we gotta open the inventory and go ahead and use the key. Simple as. Okay, just like so. Let's open this sucker up. It's going through. Okay, why am I apartment being ransacked every time I come back here? Hold up. What are you trying to say? Picture there. I guess we'll take it. Photo, what does that say? Photo of Li Fang in a glory day. Signatures of the film crew adorn the picture. On the back as well. If I hang these idol portraits up, I think she'd be pretty happy about it. Okay, so we'll take that. So we have to leave that on too. Some subtitles telling us what's being said. And we have porcelain. And also, is that a trophy of some kind? Best screenplay award, that one said right there. So this is in the kitchen now. We can kind of see, still very barren. Empty dish rack, uh, bro, I mean display cabinet. Uh, can we maybe put something in there? So open up the inventory. Maybe we can use that and place that there. Ooh, so we can. And it changes the look of the place. Hmm. Why would it change it in this specific way? I wonder if we maybe put the picture instead. Maybe it would have done something slightly different. Uh, creamy apple flavored. Uh, yeah, they're coming. Put back. I I can't take that. I, okay, I guess. All right, what is this here? Screenwriter Du Fengyu, episode one. Scene one, living hall, daytime interior. The husband carries a potted plant over to the window and places it on the sill. Husband smiling. People say that tulips symbolize elegance and sweetness, just like our child. Like you know, our child hasn't even been born yet. All right, let's finish organizing and get dinner ready. The flower isn't blooming anytime soon, so let's eat soup's game. Cold. The couple arrange their new home together, they hang her paintings on the empty wall, set his medals on the cabinets, and place their china on the shelves. With a human touch, the empty abode begins to feel more like home. After adjusting the furniture, the husband returns to the living hall and finds his wife waiting for him with a gift. I kind of feel like that's probably telling us what we gotta go ahead and do right now. So we have put the trophies within the cabinet. Now let's find a spot to hang the picture up potentially. So if we go over to this here, potentially we could put the china on that. So we'll do that. There you go. It's giving us flashbacks more and more. I don't know what you're saying, lady. Maybe it's best I don't. Right, I'll take some dish detergent. No. Nope. Uh, okay, I'll put it back. All right, where are we looking to hang these pictures here? Okay, this can't be used here. Maybe we're looking for like a nail on the wall where we can actually place it. This room's open, okay? And we can go in, but it's so dark, I can't even see a thing. Hello? Why if you're around any of these corners right now? Let's check in the bedroom here. Very barren. Aha, this is what I was looking for. A nail on the wall, hang that up there. And that's everything. There we go, looking nice and homely. And that should do it, I think. So if we go back to the living room, apparently our wife is waiting for us. I right, look, listen. I don't get what's going on right now. If I can get an explanation, that would help a lot. Oh my god! Okay, that was stupid. Alright, do I back up? Because cheeks are clam- okay, I'm gonna cut myself there. I don't want to keep saying stuff like that. Someone's actually outside. Okay, that's turned off. Do I want to go back out there? Oh, I don't know. Everywhere else is kind of like pitch black. Yeah, skip that. I ain't going in there. Yeah, you see, when you look down a corridor and you see just a flickering light, you know bad stuff's about to happen. And you also know the game saying, hey, come this way. All right, game. You got your wish. Oh, okay. Nothing's there. What is that? Like a ballerina doll? Okay, I guess we'll take it. What are we to do with this thing, though? You know? Hold up. TV's just turned on. Or is that the rate? All right, look. I ain't about this ritual stuff, wife. Look, just tell me what's going on so I can understand. Okay. Yo, my eyes are like twitching up something fierce right now. Oh my god! Like my gift? Uh, like, I don't get what's going on right now. I need an explanation, like pronto. What is that? A lighter or something? Don't think so. Oof. Use the lighter, it was, okay? Let's do it. I don't know what's happening, guys, but this game is dope so far. It's vague. Extremely interesting. My dear Feng Yu, this is the light you've always wanted. You must be exhausted from all of the unpacking. Get some rest. I want you to know that I'll always support you. Happy Father's Day, your loving wife. Aw, that's kind of sweet. Okay, we'll put that away for now. Okay, it's really dark. We'll get it back up. When do we get canaries right now? Hello? Do I want to go out here like straight up? Bro, I'm gonna go for it. Alright, this place is looking a lot more run down. We've got stuff on the walls here, all crumbling away. 
These pictures must have been hung up a long time ago. The year of the tiger. Okay, again. You simply place within there. So we'll take that. Okay, let's go inside. The freak? Bro, we got mannequins on the- Yo, what the freak is going on? <laughs> this is so bizarre. Hey? Uh... Right, they ain't responding. So is this trying to say this was like our life? Maybe? See the wife there. Uh, what we're looking at. Let's take a look. School Correspondence Journal, uh, February 24th, 86. Chinese vocabulary, arithmetic practice. Today I clean my room and daddy helped me put all my toys away. My room has a very big bed. I can play house on top of it. Teachers comments you should try cleaning your room yourself. Okay, I guess the score is pretty good, but I'm not sure. Right, what are you doing? No fishing. Uh, okay, I'm gonna leave you to it. In here. Yo, don't you dare. If you move, I swear to goodness, okay? I'm about to move out this door right here. Can't stop the water or nothing. Uh, I'm gonna leave you. Bro, if you move again, I'm actually... I can't do this. This is like the one mechanic in games that freaks me out. But what if things are moving behind me? Oh my god, oh my god. Don't do it, don't do it. Oh boy, hold up. Walk a bit. Okay, they're still there. They're like blocking me off, maybe. Maybe it's just to like direct me a certain path. Let's open the door. So this is, I guess, the door to... Okay, that was my feet. Okay, I'm gonna go out on a woman's say. Okay, that ain't my feet. I don't know what the freak that is. Okay, what's this? Uh, small chair used when playing house. Yeah, great. Fantastic. <sighs> keep going, keep going, keep going. I don't need the lighter. What is that dripping sound? In here, maybe? Door is still locked up. I don't have a key. A ballerina doll. Maybe that will be like a puzzle element down the line. Let's go in here. Okay, so this is us taking a picture, I guess, of our daughter or something. She ain't looking too good with eyes like that, I'm just saying. Okay, let me, uh, let me go ahead and snatch that camera from you. Polaroid camera. So, I lost it one day, so I brought a single lens camera. We'll put it back. I'm not sure why it told us that. Uh, okay, the ceramic doll. I don't think taking that's gonna be the best idea, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it. So, uh, listen, you move, I break you, okay? Back up, back up, back up. They're still not moving. That door is still locked up as well. Maybe we place the doll on the small chair? Check these guys out. You keep looking at me like that, I swear to goodness. Okay, hold on for a second. Can I use this here? I can. <sighs> Bro, light her out. Where the freak did I just end up? Or did the place like me build itself? Yo, listen. I, I don't- I don't know what to say. What do you want? What- what do they want? The birthday grab is a ceremony performed for a baby who's reached one year of age. In ancient times, the chances of a baby dying young were high. It was rare to reach the age of one, and so a cause for celebration. Therefore, in present times, to honor the ancestors and anticipate a safe and healthy future for the baby, this ceremony has become an important custom. People believe that placing various items in front of the baby and seeing what it grabs can predict what type of career the baby will have in the future? Like, what the- Commonly used items include a pen, ink, paper, enamel, and abacus garden tools, seats, etc. The direction of a child's development is of great significance to parents, especially in modern times. Parents expect a lot from a child's early education, and it is wise to cultivate the child's interest and expertise from a young age to develop a head start in his or her career. Okay, so that's kind of the crack. What's going on right now, huh? Hold up, wait. Is there loads of them there? Oh, no. L listen, guys, don't do it, okay? Just <laughs> no way. What, is that a toilet right now? One of these, like, wooden mannequin things just flushed the toilet? Hold up. Bro, you busy? He's not moving. Let me open this. The freak? Okay, I see the handprints. I hate how I can't close doors behind me. I'm gonna snitch this, okay? Piano songbook. The moment I take this, watch what happens to this here. Okay, I guess I was wrong. Feels good to be wrong, man. No, I don't wanna... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know why this is so anxious to me. Like, these guys aren't moving, but I don't know if there's a specific danger. Of such? Okay, look. If these guys want to play me the piano, so be it. There's that there. Uh, some crayons. Okay, they're literally crayons. She lives uh, doodling. Perfect. Okay. Birthday. Skipping through to here. Alright. I see what's going on here. Birthday cake. And I see the ballerina. So this is number two. Use it. There you go. That's what happens as a result. Feels like a good old time, right? Nine years old. Well, there's four there as well. Why is this? Oh my gosh. Okay, look, you've run. You just run, don't you, you know? Oh yeah, man doesn't. Oof. That don't look like a good ballerina position. Oof. Yeah, back broke. Basically. Oh gosh. <sighs> what the freak? Is she like a ghost or something right now? Okay. Light him. This is where we was before, right? Just like sitting down? We can't sit down again this time. The lighter. I need some light in here. What is this? What are we doing? Okay. If 
how to fix up the fuzz because it kind of worked. So the wife was a professional singer or something? Perfect, I guess. Uh, I don't get what's going on. Okay. You see, when a TV does that, you run again. I've said that like 10 times, but I guess we're more interested to find out what's going on. You're gonna have to wait, okay? I'm busy. You're gonna have to- I've just said wait, hold up a second. So- Oh my god, this dude, alright? This better be worth it! Yo, listen, you're getting no tip as well for that Domino's pizza. 20 minutes late, pff, not good enough, okay? No pizza? <sighs> Again. Just ghostly, eerie silence down this corridor. No one around? Okay, that sounds like singing. Could be a reference to the door singing again, or something like that. Well, that could easily be me just overthinking things. Wait, I do want to know what's going on here, man. I'm f Yo, look, that's aggressive, okay? By the way, what is this? Uh, narration. Script for the birthday? And so today, they celebrate their child's birthday as candles light the cozy room, the joy of family in peaceful celebration. My sweet child, what gift would you prefer? Father will grant you anything. I am grateful, Father, Mother, but I do not wish for a gift. I just want our family to be mirthful and content. Okay, Google. Mirthful definition. Merry and amusing. That's so sweet. For the child, such an ordinary moment would be especially cherished. If you'd like to know why, we must talk about that strange illness. Okay... Not sure what that would be. I guess that's what we learned though. Check out, what is this artwork? Hmm, looks like maybe the father and the daughter. Seem happy enough, so no problems there. Uh, okay, father scribbled out. Hand reaching for the daughter. Uh, okay, now this is where things get just a little bit dark. Um... Okay, this is getting very vague, but... Okay, look, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Okay, something went down. Ooh... Something went down with the daughter. This game is great, man. It's good how it leaves out like, your imagination to do the thinking so far. Okay, I can't open that. Okay, light this. We have to have the lighter out to see, I guess, what we're doing. Again, 1985 this time, so five years later. Use the key. Let's see what changed five years later. And the TV's in the same spot. It was there before. Is the door, like, crying or something? There is some wicked draft coming through. Are you kidding? Close the window? All right, what's this here? Notice of injury or illness. To parents, third year student Dume Shin. Difficulty breathing, sent to school clinic, actions taken, the emergency transportation to hospital. Dang, so that's a bad thing. Further medical testing is advised as early as possible. After receiving this notice and seeking further medical attention, have the doctor fill out the reply form with the treatment provided. Return the supply slip to the school medical clinic so that we may continue to provide the student with medical care. So they're offering help, I guess, to the daughter. But it's clear there's something wrong. What does it say here? Wash hands before entering? Okay, let's go ahead and do exactly what she requested. Turn the tap on, give our hands a quick rinse, and then we can go see our daughter, I guess. Okay, it's about good to- Yeah, that is a problem. That shouldn't be happening. Oh boy, is it gonna get worse? Let me see. They ain't coming off. That blood on your hands is probably a sign. I'm just saying, what did you do? You messed up, right? Oh yeah. Paranoia. He's having flashbacks to something. Alright, now my hands are squeaky by this point. Let's go on in. What the freak? The needles must signify maybe, uh, the treatment that she was getting? Dang. Sounds painful. Looks painful. We'll remove the needle. I'm sorry. Yikes. Ah. There you go. There's one of three. Sorry to break it to you. Only part way through the process. Ah. Embedded deep though in the arm. Get the final one out, just to this side here. Hopefully this helps. Somehow. I have no idea though. Okay, she's at peace. We have silence. Some notes there, ripped in half, and that might be everything. Let's pick it up, here we go. So a diagnostic report, Dume Shin. Thoracic specialist, chest tightness and difficulty breathing. Medical order, patient's x-ray and blood work analysis normal. No medical ailments observed. Recommended dot dot dot, and of course that's where the paper rips, so great. Okay, x-ray film? Of course we're gonna take it. Gonna have to find a spot which is probably there to, I guess, see what's popping off. Also, are we in a different apartment right now? Totally different layout than before. I'll check this side, because we have something here. Script, protracted illness, child's room at night interior, candles illuminate the bed and the herbal tea remedy. Father, when will we go down into the big city? We cannot do so under these troubling circumstances. Son, when your illness has passed, mother and I will take you anywhere you'd like. Father, the needles are painful. This treatment is unbearable. Husband pulls the acupunctural needles out of his child. No more pain, no more pain. Father won't have you suffer any longer. And then the father proceeds to say he's got another way of potentially curing things. I don't know about that. Maybe we'll see. Okay, we have this too, so we have to move it around to, I guess, better match things up. Okay, so we'll place these two right there. 
Now, I think what I need to do is put the other ones on the slide. We we'll use those two there. All right, now let's finish tidying this mess up. There we go. What appears to be the issue then? Can we see? I don't know. We can change the direction. Gotta align it with something, perhaps. Leave it there just for now. We didn't do any exploring of the apartment, so we don't know why we'd have to do that. But we will very, very shortly. There's actually nothing more here. Hmm. Let me just take a look. So we have that. Maybe there's something we can put on the wall. Oh, all the way around? So we match up maybe here? I thought so. Okay. Let's see, what's that gonna do in turn? Some kind of symbol. Let's go and find out what that is. Maybe we'll know. What does this tell us? Let's see. Uh, it tells us that the phone's gonna ring, apparently. So thanks, sis. Hello, hello. Let's go and find out who's calling. What's the point of this hour? Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Why are you gonna start playing like you, you... Like, what even is that instrument, okay? I'm going out here. Why is the red light coming from different rooms in this place? This is a problem. It is. Like, I'm fine with it, but it is a problem still. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. And also, why have you got the worst stereo player ever? Why are you cranking the volume up to like 100 when clearly the distortion starts at 60? But I'm gonna stop, guys, okay? Check in that room, nothing. Guess we're gonna be led down to the very end right there. Okay. What's that? Something to do with the seat. Something more specifically on the seat, like an outline. Okay, can we, uh, can we poke it? Guess the person on the phone did say to go ahead and head upstairs. So that's exactly what we'll do. Some more images of what appears to be the child. Standing in the corner. And this one here, again, kind of soaking in the corner. Wait. Yeah, you see a red corridor. Nah, I'm good. Elevator? Uh, okay, el elevator, come on. Hey, guys, hate to break it to you. The elevator ain't coming anytime soon. We are walking this way here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Guess we need the light to see again. It's the year of the rabbit now. 1987. Door is already open, too. Oof. Okay. Lighter isn't needed here. Oh, I mean, I beg to differ, but fair enough. Look at this. It's just literally a TV, and everything else is just floating in space. Like, this isn't a real thing that's happening right now. So why would we take a seat? What is the significance here? The TV show again. This is so abstract, right? Oh gosh. Oh, youth category. Maybe it's the daughter. It is. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully well, huh? And there she is. Come on, girl. You got it. Sure, I hope it didn't sound like that live. Just saying. Okay. She got it. Oh, yeah. She confident, I think. Is that... No, come on! You kidding me? Bro, yeah, I sure hope that's definitely not happening live. Right, now my couch is gone, but over here, a picture. Lighter still isn't needed here. What is that? There's something in the back. You see that? Oh, boy. Now, I don't know if I want to go up to this thing. I guess I'm going to do it. Okay, do I land? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. But why are you doing this? Like, it still isn't needed. Oh, boy. Well, we better start swimming because this thing's going to go over the water and we've got to escape. Bruh. Or, uh, or don't, I guess. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, boy. Okay, what now? What the f- What the f- I don't know. I was hoping you'd tell me that instead of asking me the question. So we went deep down, but what happened next? Dip into your memories is the achievement appropriately. Who's in the bathtub? What kind of bath was that, bro? He must have passed out mid-wash or something? A daughter? Wearing the same dress she was wearing whilst on TV too? I guess we're gonna go check. Okay, why am I taking baths in corridors? What am I doing with my free time? It's gonna be real, this hotel gets a two-star rain because of this feature. What is this though? A lot of missing pictures. There used to be an article here, but it's been torn off. Gotta try and find four potential articles then and piece the puzzle together. I mean, this is the first way we saw the girl run, so I suppose we haven't- Why? I got- like, seriously, I wanna see my door. Why would you do that? What is this? Something used to fit here, but I can't remember what. Like a pressure plate or something? Clearly the uh, key isn't in the hatch anymore. Can't open that. I have to look around a little more then. Okay. Walking back through. All the other doors open up for us to go through. But- 
there's like pictures on each one, so potentially in each doorway we're gonna find something and build these up, like build the memories. Guess we'll start in 1980 where it all began apparently, and work our way through. Yeah, this one opens up just fine, we got like a loading screen and stuff. So let's see what happens through this first door here. I kind of feel like this is gonna be like a multitude of stages perhaps? Something like that. So, okay, what the freak is going on right now? Yeah, get out of my way, okay, come on, move, thank you ghosts, uh, keep going, come on, keep going, thank you. Oh, man, my tea sounds good right now, okay? I gotta stop this thing from boiling. Uh, first of all, read the note. Wife's notes and to-do list, the Jade Emperor deity assigns a pair of household guardians, a husband and wife demigod couple, to watch over a family's home. Before moving in, a welcoming ceremony must be performed for the guardians to ensure a family's health, fortune, and peace. 5 a.m., buy up the market, fish, chicken, pork, belly, sweet rice balls, so I guess a lot of food. 7 a.m., preparation, clean, spray yin yang water, attach red paper to furniture, spread coins in room corners. Okay, so a lot of stuff, a lot of prep. Oh boy. Oh boy, hold out, hold out. Yeah, you don't look so good, by the way. Does the kettle stop boiling? Let me see. What is on the TV? It's a weird one, okay, what did I say? Various prayer offerings and items laid out in a household guarding ceremony. Okay, keep moving through. Yeah, keep moving paranormal ghost uh, things, I guess. Oh boy, oh my gosh. Yeah, well, I'm blacking out, can I do anything here? This this is crazy. Like, this game is so bizarre, but it's great. What you been feasting on right there? Cookie gift box? Man, I won't be putting those back right now, but fair enough. Okay, I guess we can check out the daughter's room. No, we can't. How about around this corner here, though? So the last one is our own bedroom. Items of clothing and... Aha! That might be the pressure thing that we need. It's a record. Vinyl record, to be precise. We will take it. But the hole in the wall behind that. Like, what kind of hole is that? Hold up. I'm gonna take a peek through. I won't put my eye that close, you know? I guess I would. So that's me war like working or something, I suppose. Um, can we can we back out? Okay, make noise. Oh boy. What the heck? I guess I'll keep making the noise. So it's the daughter. That ain't looking. What is he doing? Good question. Right, whatever that note was clearly of no importance in the grand scheme. Okay. Freak! Dang! Don't flip out like that, father! Come on right now! And that's the character we're playing as, I guess. That was almost like a flashback of what we experienced before. Jeez. Got some shoes here. I guess we'll take the red shoes and whatever that is, another note. Li Fang, are you doing well? I was glad to receive your letter. Your friends in the business were saddened to hear your decision to leave the movie industry. Remember when we were younger, us showbiz sisters made a promise to fly high together, but after you started a family, reality cut that dream short. As your good friend, I understand your predicament, but I can't help but guess that your family's decision to sell their ancestral home must merely be a temporary fix for a deeper problem. All right, so we left our job. We have what appears to be a padlock just there. This is my secret hideout. The password's on my favorite picture. All right, what might that favorite picture? Okay, I'm gonna stop talking right now. I didn't think that was gonna open. Slightly paranoid. Ah, uh, wow. Uh, nice, nice stuff you've done with the place, I guess. Favorite picture? What is this? A flower pot note. You've turned my deepest misery into a comforting flower. Flower pot. So we can plant something there and maybe water it to let it grow. Let's go back in here for just a second. Now, I can leave, but I got a pair of the shoes, and I don't know why I would get that or what I could do with them. Spirit Serpent. According to legend, it happened in a small village in southern Fijian, probably massacred that. There once lived a poor farmer whose son was too frail to work in the fields. Instead, he was sent to a Buddhist temple to train as a novice monk. Gradually, he became stronger and occasionally journeyed home to assist his father and tend to their crops. One day, while working in the fields, they came upon a massive striped snake. Apprehensive at first, they approached it slowly, but soon came to to understand that it bore them no malice. So it actually helped them with the harvesting process, okay? And I guess this here is trying to signify like uh, a movie scene or something, because a camera stand, maybe we can find a camera somewhere. Okay, in here, look, I don't want you playing, I'm busy looking for stuff, okay? It's just a distraction by this point. A letter from an old friend, your screenplay, The Lives I've Lived, has been rejected by six directors. May I suggest you drop the fruitless obsession and seriously consider coming up with a new script? If any offense has been taken, I beg your forgiveness. Uh, wow. So I guess whatever we was trying to write wasn't quite working out with anyone. Shining Star Kiki, connect the dots. Uh, she has a crown, shoes and red dress. Um, hold up a second then. So so, can I use those on that? I guess not. You know what? Perhaps all of the puzzles initially won't be available to us within like the different rooms. Maybe we gotta work to it. Uh, hey! Okay, uh, 
Oh god. Oh boy. Okay, thank goodness you're gone. Uh, where am I bath at? I kind of want to bath right now. I'm actually restoring memories here. So I can check this out now, you see? Recent movie, The Fluttering Feathers, and there's another one there. So we have, I think, three more to do there. But we are making progress in time. That's important. All right, this one's 1985. We may as well check it out. I'm curious by this point. I want to see what different stuff will be here. All right. Inside we go. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Yeah, this one's a bit more jacked up than the other ones, right? Wind howling in the back. Alice and travel guide. No, it's in the back. mason has been soaking in the room since we can't go on our trip anymore. Could you go and read Mason her favorite storybook? Okay, so we'll keep our eyes peeled for that. Maybe by lighting the candles up too, it might help. We have a locked suitcase. We're gonna have to find a way to open this thing. Some more candles. Keep looking around here. Some more there. And I see a few here. Yeah, this is better. Now I feel a bit more homely. Hey, bro, how's it going? Hopefully you're holding out well. Uh, poem attached to wine pot. My beloved child, this wine will follow you. Sweet and ripe. Brewing in the pot. Mother's three blessings. Wishing your silhouette embraced by silk. Wishing your hair illuminated by stars. Wishing your steps admired by all. As I wait patiently, let time mold you into a lustrous jewel. That's kind of sweet, right? Wow, nice little thing right there. What is this here? A drawing by Mason based on my wine poem. Shoes, crown, and red dress are basic elements. So I have already the shoes. Guess I gotta find either the crown or the red dress. And can you stop banging on the window? Hey, we can't open that. All right, the doll there. Uh, before we go toying with that, let me check out this on the table. My family, there are three people in my family. My father, my mother, and I. My mother is a housewife who likes to sing while she's cooking. My mother used to be a famous star. Every song she sings sounds perfect. My father is a screenwriter. He writes a lot of words every day. He often works late, and I can't bother him when he works, or my mother will scold me. Although I'm sick, I can't go to school often. Mom and dad always take care of me at home. My mom says if I get better, I'll be able to play outside more often. Okay, ceramic doll. What's that sound? the freak? What are you doing over there? Whoa! Alright. I think we're good. <laughs> hey, that's that same pan that we saw, I think, on the girl before. Uh, when we did the x-ray thing? Maybe. Not entirely sure. What well, we got popping off in here, okay? Red dress or crown? I ain't seen neither just yet. Wait, what's she got right there? Okay, uh, school correspondence journal. It's boring at home. The same stuff keeps playing on TV, but I'm sick, so I can't go to school. I've been to so many doctors, but I'm still not feeling well. I have to write in my journal because my classmates do too. Today, I have to feed daddy's arowana fish. It must be a sad thing stuck in its fish tank, just like me in my house. I guess that's a good way to see things. Maybe... What the freak is this? Uh, hold up a second. What is this? Button label do me shin. That one says take pills. And this one here window. Is this saying that this is all she could do? So I guess we can't press that. There's different things. You see this? Right, where do we start? Which button's illuminating first? This one here? So she wakes up. It's going to be like, I guess, her daily routine. Then I guess this one just says do my shin, aka doing her, getting up like that. And if it works for you, I guess, uh, do it. Okay. Uh, so he just said that to keep in mind. Okay. Maybe. I don't know, guys. I have no idea. Okay, and then the last one, button label door. Okay. For real? And then she walks on through. This is such a unique way of portraying a story. This is dope. I like this. Television. So she watches the TV, I'm guessing. There it is. Uh, disease prevention is a civic duty. The Department of Health caring for public. It's her working over, or walking over even to the TV. Wow. Dang. Savage. So is that maybe what the lock case is? It was hers? So the luggage. So we're opening it. Closing it back up. And then she carries on. So she left because maybe she was like so trapped within her home. And she didn't want to be that way no more. She wanted the freedom that the parents wouldn't allow her to have. As a young child, she felt trapped. Window? Is that... She escaped through the window, right? Oh boy. Next one? Marble box. Okay. I don't know who she's telling that to. She's opening that. There you go. That's her probably packing everything up. And then the final part here with the fish. In fact, it just simply says take pills, must go out and play, must go out and play. It's all she wanted, just to go out and play. She was so trapped. Hmm. 
She didn't take them all, did she? Surely not. She didn't put them in with the arowana fish either, right? Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, we're transitioning back out. We're gonna pass out. Wait, was we under water the whole time? Are we like the fish in the container? Wow. So that's where the pills went. Ha! Huh. That explains why I think in 1987 the fish is no more? Oh, wow. And that just simply confirms it right there. Look, I I'm gonna pop your eye out for some reason. Uh, marble? Fish eye? Uh, what a bizarre thing right now. What is this here? School correspondence. It's the weekend. Dad said that if I took my medicine, he would take me out, but he was lying again. The day after, Dad brought a bunch of vitamins, but I don't want to take any. It doesn't make me better. We were supposed to go out and play, but we didn't. So it's still on about the lies and stuff that we kept telling the daughter. We were never truthful. We'd just give a false hope all the time. Whoa. Freak, can I open that? I don't want to, but I guess I'm gonna. Oh, snap. This, no, this ain't good. This ain't good, Chief. This really ain't good. All right, look. I'm gonna go ahead and put the little marble thing in there, and then I guess we gotta get it through. Okay, place it in, then just simply complete the puzzle. So it's there. Pretty unique. It's a really unique way of playing this game, though. You know, how it's like a multitude of layers for things that you gotta do. All right, let's get this puppy around, and then all we gotta do is get it in the small hole there, and then things should open up. So there we go. What were you hiding away, huh? What's that? I have no idea what is that, like a bracelet or something? A key? Is that the key to the apartment? Suitcase key. I guess, thanks, daughter. Though, uh, work on the line, because that looks really creepy. Okay, yeah, we're good. Can you not? Like, I'm about to turn that thing off, you know? Watching the TV that close will strain your eyes. I'm talking to a doll. I've gone crazy. Okay, let me just go ahead and open the suitcase. Let's get back on track. See, what was she hiding away in there? Maybe the key. That said liar, by the way. All right. So we'll slip that. Storybook. The back cover is signed Ju Mei Shin. I guess we'll go ahead and slip that out. And that's it. That's what we needed from there. Alright, the doll is gone again. Uh, I can't turn that off either. Let me leave one more time. Let me just see if maybe we see the girl out there again observing the pictures and stuff. Don't see her immediately. No, there's nothing there, you see? None of the pictures while I've been restored at all? But there's a merry-go-round in the middle. Okay, look, this is getting weird, okay? All right, guys, well, I'm gonna leave this first episode here. This was Devotion, and I guess depending on what you guys think about this thing, it may turn into a full series, or we may just leave it there. It's delivering the story in, like, a really interesting way, and it's very, very captivating how it's doing it. Like, you interpret it your own way, but it also gives you, like, these storyboard elements, so you can also get a bit more of a clearer picture of what's going on. But yeah, this was a very interesting experience and an interesting little story in time within. I can only assume as well if we did continue, things would probably get worse as time goes on, but I'm gonna leave the ball in your court guys So let me know what you want to see and maybe this thing will carry on if you guys did enjoy this video though Why not drop me that like rating and hey if you're new around here Why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video guys Of course hope you did enjoy and I will of course see you on the next one